Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. Buying our developer use versions will get you the entire source code and also allow you to include the template as part of a larger project and customize the database down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. If you don't like the way something works or want a new feature to be added or anything of that sort, well, contact customer service. Hopefully they'll get to it in the next update. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want. And applications can be customized to your heart's content by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. If you don't have this expertise or know someone who does, Winning Solutions can make any customizations you like or perhaps build a brand new system from scratch. With Microsoft Access, nothing is ever impossible. If you need it, we can make it happen. Just contact us for a quote. These days, there is understandably a big push for mobile and web-based apps. If that meets your needs better, then we could do that for you too. But Access continues to be a popular tool because it's included with some versions of Microsoft Office, is relatively inexpensive, and is easy to work with for people with limited programming knowledge. Okay, so with that in mind, let's take a look at the IT consultant help desk tracking, ticketing tracking demo. So I've already unzipped and there may be several versions of the file you see up there, whether you have a 64 or 32 bit. So open the one uh, that, that, uh, that matches the installation of Office that you have. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to get the usual warning here. Anytime you're opening a database from a new folder, you're going to get this message, meaning that this is not a trusted location. We want to make sure you're not opening up any ma harmful macros, but all of our templates are safe. So we're just going to go ahead and open. There's a uh, just a, a note that you can read over. Uh, fully functional, shows all the features of the database. Each time you exit the database, any data you have created is deleted. The purchased version of the software does not have this limitation. And also the purchased version has all of the source code, as I mentioned earlier, and can be modified in any way that's needed. So let's go through this and it's a fairly standard setup. Um, the best thing to start with probably is the maintain lists. So Again, IT consultant help desk tracking. So you're going to have several different categories. So you might have, let's, let's put um, uh, someone needs help with their email, password, um, uh, network, connection, and um, what else? Uh, can't find the NE key. That's a little IT joke there. Okay. So uh, priority, high, low, and normal, status, again, standard things, waiting on someone else, not started. You can change these um, very easily just by going into these things and adding and removing. If I, if I want to remove, there's no such thing as low priority, I can delete that. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the main menu, save this and close this. And tickets is going to be where the main thrust of this application is contacts again most likely contacts within your company so it won't spend too much time in that uh, tickets are where the meat of this thing is so um, right now there's nothing to search for I think right so let's add a new help desk ticket and uh, this is where some of those maintenance tasks come in so uh, let's say title uh, new piece uh, uh, installation for new employee Let's say, again, this, this this could be for a consultant or within a company, you know, and that's the thing, you know, th this is not just uh, a standalone app. This could be customized any way you want, and this can be made part of a larger application if you want as well. So, so you know, really, the sky's the limit with this thing. Uh, so, uh, assign to. So, obviously, we had some names. This is this is from the setup menu. Uh, assign it to an employee. Uh, open by employee. It puts today's date in. Uh, by default, uh, we can put a due date in there of uh, tomorrow, even though it's 6.23 in the evening. I don't think anyone's going to be doing anything today. 
the priority, you know, high or normal, status, again, um, not started, category, and uh, this doesn't really meet any of the new categories. I'll just put it in our can't find any key. Uh, we can make attachments. Uh, if there's any, you know, screenshots someone sent you or whatever, you can add those in this, uh, you can add those in this window and they'll be attached to the database. Uh, just a, a little bit of warning, um, attachments can make your database very big very quickly. So it's a little bit of warning. Um, ticket information, and you can put, um, in needs a new PC plus email setup, etc. Um, and of course you can add comments as, as we go. We can email this to someone, right? Uh, but let's go ahead and close this. It gives a ticket ID. Now we can do a search for ticket and we should find what we just, uh, put in here. And of course we can edit it if we need to, we can print it, email it. Um, you can search Now we only have one in here right now, but, uh, installation, install, install, Oh, some reason I, I, I think, there we go, somehow got that changed. Um, oh, and we have it match as you type, so let's, let's, let's take that, let's uncheck that. So you can do match as you type, um, or you could just, Okay, so we'll assign it to someone here. We'll set a due date, let's say tomorrow or well, whatever. Um, priority, normal status, let's say waiting on someone, category. I can't pick a category here, so let's put any key. All right, so we'll go ahead and we will close this. And then we can do a search. say due date tomorrow, priority high, uh, not started, category, we'll just put the any thing here. Uh, you can put attachments in here too. As we said, you know, you can add any attachments, JPEGs, PDFs, someone sent you a screenshot you need to be aware of. All right, so if we do just save and new, and we'll go ahead and close it. Maintain lists we saw, contacts, uh, again, contact probably people within your organization. So, and uh, so we can probably go back. I don't know if this is one of the ones we assigned. Okay. Oh, there we go. So that was, you know, the contacts are people you can assign to, employees. Uh, or consultants. And last thing here is reports. Again, closed tickets. I don't think we have any of those. Open tickets. You can see what tickets are still open. Um, open tickets by assigned to. And okay, so we again, we have it separated by, by, uh, by employee. Okay, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And like I said, you know, this application is meant to be very generic. When you purchase the full version, you will have the full source code and the tables. You can change this any way you want. You can get someone else to change it. Of course, we're always available at Winning Solutions to help you out with that process. So once again, thank you for watching this presentation of the Consultant Help Desk Ticketing Database. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, subscribe, 
and have a great day.